gives off here? Look, Ed, as a so-called president of this alleged fraternity of Moo Moo Moos, you've got to do something. About what? Flash Casey's up in his room packing. Oh, well, what for? He's leaving his dear old Alma Mammy flat on her campus. Hey, that doesn't make sense. He can't shove off now. He graduates in a couple of months. Why is he leaving? Money. Money? What's that? <laughs> I wouldn't know. All right. It's up to us guys to see him through. Come on, chill out. It's no use, Ed. We're all flat. A fine thing. A couple of sharks in economics and broke. Let's have a few moments of intense, silent concentration. Maybe we can figure out something. Come on, brain. Give. Thanks, Benny, old boy, old boy. I'll tell him. Nope. You can't... It's Flash Casey marches on. Yeah, when well, you ask the spirit of Benjamin Baxter Belmont what I'm going to use for money. Flash, I can't let you do this awful thing. I might be only a freshman and a pledge, but I got a heart. Well, that's a handicap. Flash, if you don't mind my asking, what happened that you have to quit college? Oh, nothing much. My father lost a wrestling match with his bank balance, and I had to send him some money. Gee, that's tough. You sure deserve a lot of credit, Flash, putting yourself through college taking pictures. Well, it was fun getting him. I've had to do everything but go over Niagara Falls and a thimble. Gee, you got some swell flashlights of the faculty. Ah, oh, those old boys go for having their mugs magnified. Well, college professors are humans. That's what they think. A crawling imitation of a worm. You freshman, and you my roommate. I know. I'm not worried that it will become a moo moo moo. So you throw it away, huh? Get on, McDuff. Oh, I threw away a letter of mine. I thought it was an ad. The pledge is not supposed to think. Hey, wait a minute. I haven't emptied this thing in a week. Here it is. Uh, you do it, Ed. I can't bear to look at it. Oh. Gee, Flash, you won some sort of a contest. No kidding. Yeah, true, but the great order of Moo 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 doesn't count in this neglect of duty. Oh. Oh, gosh, I'm always taking it on the chin. Graduation speakers, you'd think there's something hard about being a success. It's a baloney. Say, listen, in ten years, I'll be running the biggest automobile business in the world. Ten years? You're slow. Give me just five years, and I'll own a chain of banks from coast to coast. Gee, Flash, how does it feel to be a graduate? Oh, that's just... Hey, what about you, Flash? Oh, I don't care about the money end of it. I'm going to own the largest news photo agency in the world. It may take me a couple of years, though. Have you got a job? No, but it's just a matter of picking the paper I want to start with. Excuse me, sir. Are you the editor? All right, straight ahead, son. In the noise department. Happy, boy. Oh, Mr. Blair. This is Blaine of the Globe Press. Now, see here, Charlie. This paper puts you in office and we can blast you out. I want that statement today, or we're going to start burning the pants off of you. Goodbye. Mr. Blaine, I... Yeah? Yes, Robinson? Oh, you can't see her, eh? Now, get this. I want an interview, not an alibi. I'll show that ritzy dame she can't give my reporters a run around, even if she has got a hundred million bucks. In a swimming bath, eh? Well, put on your water wings. Mr. Blaine... Just a minute, Wade. Yeah? Oh, you finally interrupted your pinochle game long enough to phone in. There's been a cute little killing at the Hartman Hotel. Yes, I'm sending Wade. He'll meet you there. That's all, Wade. Don't wait for the funeral. Okay, Chief. I'm saving myself so I can enjoy yours. Mr. 
plane. So they tell me. Not Flash Casey. Not the Flash Casey. Yes, sir. Never heard of you. What do you want? Well, I... I want to go to work. So do I. Scram. But, Mr. Blaine, I sent you a telegram. You can have it back if you want it. I guess you don't understand. I'm the fellow that worked his way through college taking pictures. Aren't you wonderful? Listen, I hate photographers and I hate college heroes. Now get out. Shall I, uh, come back later? Sure. Make it a hundred years from today. Yes, sir. What time? Get out. Clumsy egg. Ever try sticking your arm out when you're going to make a turn? Gee, miss, I'm terribly sorry. You're sorry? How do you think it makes me feel? Well, not as bad as I do. Are you hurt? I don't know, but it hasn't done my dignity any good. Well, I hope nothing develops. Well, only time will tell. Well, how will I know? Oh, I'll put an ad in the personal column. But how will I know it's you? I'll sign its broken part. Well, I'll pay for the ass. Won't cost anything. I work for this rag. You do? What's your name? I happen to be Kay Lanning. It's none of your business. You aren't the Kay Lanning who writes the special features. Oh, just call me Sog Sister. But I also edit the society page. Oh, now I know I'm going to work on the Globe Press. Work here at what? Oh, as a photographer. I was just talking to Mr. Blaine. And then that accounts for your walking around in the days. Yeah, but he wasn't very encouraging. Well, cheer up. Somebody may shoot him yet. So long, and good luck. Honk your horn, bud. Honk, honk. Peyton, where do you manage to hide yourself? I've been developing some stuff. Seems to me you do a lot of developing. Considering how few pictures you get from me. Hey, listen, what kind of a crack is that? I get you everything I can. And the next thing I know, Blaine runs the best of what you get in the Globe Press. Go on, what are you getting at? Oh, never mind, never mind. But tomorrow is our deadline. You'll have to get me something else for the front cover. Today, sure, or we're sunk. I can't pull him out of a hat. Yes? Lawrence, come into my office, will you? Yes, I I'll be right in, Major Addison. I'll talk to you later about the front cover. I'll be here. Come in, Lawrence. Sit down. How's your next issue coming along? I hope it will be all right. Don't you know? Not definitely, I'm sorry to say. Lawrence, when you came to me six months ago to sell me the idea of letting you put out a pictorial, I was very dubious. Now I'm convinced the pictorials are an experiment. Certainly you've done nothing to prove they'll be a success. So far, each issue has been just a little bit worse than the one before. I'll grant you that, Major Addison, but I'm sure it will improve. With the Globe Press helping you, you shouldn't have all this difficulty. That's right, I, I shouldn't. Well, I must warn you. Snap News will have to snap out of it at once, or I'll have to discontinue it. That's all, Lawrence. What do you want, Lawrence? I'm busy. I want to know how I'm expected to get out of Pictorial Magazine when my best photographs disappear and show up in the Globe Press. What are you babbling about? That's the picture I was going to use for the front cover of the next issue of Snap News. Where did you get the idea that cutie little thing you call a pictorial is more important than this newspaper? That isn't the point, Blaine. That photo was taken by my own cameraman, not by one of your staff. The picture was placed on my desk two days ago. By whom? How should I know? That isn't the first picture that disappeared mysteriously from my office. This has been going on ever since I started Snap News for Major Addison. What of it? The whole idea of a pictorial magazine is bunk. The Major thinks so, too. Now, bunk? You mock my words, Blaine? 
The pictorial will sweep the country. Yours won't. Not if you can prevent it, evidently. And you've been trying hard enough. Well, top of the afternoon, you, Ms. O'Hara. You're looking wonderful. Never mind the blarney, Mr. Casey. You've got a job, I don't presume. Well, not exactly, but I've had a lot of encouragement. Well, that's fine. But I can't pay the butcher and the baker and the fuller brush man with encouragement, more's the pity. And may I suggest that a young fellow with no money and no job has no business running around with a camera taking pictures like a nosy tourist. Well, taking pictures is my business, Mrs. O'Hara. That's, uh, I'm a freelance cameraman, one of the greatest in the world. And what is a freelance cameraman? Well, he's a cameraman that goes all around looking for pictures to take. Mm, I see. Just a fancy word meaning no job. There's a sample of the injustice of life. Here I slave me daylights out of washing and ironing and cooking and scrubbing and trying to collect me room rents, while this liberty gibbet insures her legs for one million dollars. Let's see. Mitzi LaRue, famous French dancer whose beautiful legs are insured for a million dollars, will arrive on Steamship Ontario today. Say, that gives me an idea. It's give plenty of other men ideas, no doubt. What's your hurry? I gotta get in there. What for? Take some pictures. Why don't you buy yourself some postcards? I'm a news photographer. Yeah? What paper? Gold Press. You can't kid me. Those newspaper guys boarded her at quarantine. Stand aside. Get a good gander at those stem olders, boys. They're mighty pretty. Missy, you're not through yet. But I'm going to be carried. Oh, yes, yeah, so am I. But I had make sufficient pictures of both she has land. Uh, now, don't get excited. Just sit right down there and uh, let's see the game. Gams? Gams? What is Gams? The million dollar party of the game. The pins, the transportation department. But I do not understand. Legs, legs, if you must know. Just sit there and cross. You make the big insult. Go, poo poo. Poo poo for you. Just a minute, son. You must have been reading them success story magazines. Come on, beat it. Darling. Darling. Oh, baby. It's so good to see you again. It has been a thousand years since I've seen you in Paris. I'm sorry I couldn't miss you at the gangplank, but we mustn't be seen together. Oh, that is okay, darling. I understand. Did you take this? Well, yes, I thought if I showed you what I could do, you might give me a job. That's a picture of Mitzi LaRue. You're telling me. And now I'll tell you something. The young sap is Rodney Anderson, Jr., son of the man who owns this newspaper. Why, the Major ordered him back from Europe to keep him away from her. Oh, doggone, just my luck. And I thought I had something. You've got something all right. The swellest grounds for a breach of promise suit in history. Why, with that picture, the dame could put the B on Addison's bank roll for a million bucks. Let me have that negative before it gets you in trouble. No, it won't get me in any trouble. I said, let me have that negative. Well, under the circumstances, Mr. Blaine, how about a job? All right. Let me have the negative and you go to work. Jumping Jezebel, who took that? Wade me down new staff photographer, Mr. Flash Casey. Sure glad to meet you. Nice going, Sprout. Thanks. How much is this big hearted bozo going to pay? Fifty bucks a week. Mm. Gee, thanks a million, Mr. Blaine. 
18 bucks a week then. That's right. You said 50. That's before I got the negative. 18 bucks, take it or leave it. I'll take it. You start tomorrow morning. Casey, in the flash. Well, come back in a flash with a flash. I'm busy. Okay, brokenhearted. Well, if it isn't Big Chief Bunk in the guard, come in. Thanks for remembering me. Oh, I'll remember you for several days yet. I wish you could forget about that bump and remember me. Well, what brings you into this den of society lions and lionesses? Well, I got news for you. For me? Yeah, about me. I got a job here. Not really. Cross my heart. Picture snatching? Yep, I start tomorrow. Well, be careful you don't end tomorrow, too. Uh, Come in. Uh, pardon me, Kate. I want to thank you again for that front cover. It saved my life this week. Well, I always wanted to be a lifeguard. Oh, Mr. Lawrence, this is Flash Casey, a new photographer on the Globe Press. How are you, Matt? Hello. It's a friend of yours? Well, we bump into each other occasionally. I see. I'm happy to know you, my boy. Friend of Kay's is a friend of mine. And let me wish you great success. Thank you, sir. And come in and see me anytime. Flash? Thank you, I will. Who's he? Well, that's Pop Lawrence. He's editor of Snap News, Major Addison's Pictorial. I like him. And so do I. Candid camera. Oh, that's what I've always wanted. I carried with me on assignment. I pick up some swell pictures unexpectedly. Oh, you gave some to Miss Lawrence for his pictorial. Yes, but remember, Blaine doesn't know it. I get it. Well, you've got to run along. You've got a big day ahead tomorrow. Every day will be a big day from now on. Bye. So long. See who it is. Hello, Danny. Hi. The boss here? Yeah, he's inside. Hello, Rick. Hello. What's on your mind? Sit down. How are you getting along with that picture, Gary? Oh, all right, but it takes time. You can't work out a thing as big as that in a minute. You've been at it for weeks now. I want some action. Listen, Rick. When I get this thing perfected, it's going to make your other rackets look like penny ante. Well, what's holding you back? i got to go slow. You're liable to get wise to me at the office. The old man's already starting to beef about me spending so much time in the developing room. I want you to quit that piker job and put all your time on this thing. Yeah, but i got to make my coffee and cakes, haven't I? In a few days, I'm going to set you up in business. What kind of business? A camera store where you sell stuff, do developing. One of those joints. What's the gag? It'd give you a swell front. You'll have a place to work this thing out. And you might get a hold of some pictures that you could use. Say, that's a good idea. Any idea I get is good. Remember that. Drink? Sure, why not? Well, why? Well, Chris. Somebody? Yeah, Mr. Blaine. Uh, I'm starting here today. Cameraman. Flash Casey's the name. Paper's mine. I just for the Snap News. Glad to meet you. Yeah. See you around. So. Sure. Morning. Mm. Morning. Well, here I am, bright and early. You're early, but your brightness may be open the door. Yeah, I'm beginning to think the same thing myself. Morning, Blaine. Miller takes City Hall this morning. Robinson had to meet his grandmother. Blonde or brunette? Never mind the dumb cracks. Get going. Gone. Say, Skipper, what about me doing something different for a change? All right, try working. Oh, say, I've been hanging around gangsters so long that I'm talking out of the side of my mouth like this, see? Say, what do you say, Tony? Should we give them the works? You'll get the works payday if you don't start coming up with some news. Mr. Blaine, just what is this news that I've been hearing so much about? Uh, is it uh, plural or singular? If you ever got any, it would be singular. Oh, no, I'm acquainted with the old newspaper nifty about the man biting the dog. But say, I might get you a new angle on that. How about finding you a tree that bites a dog? Good morning. What's the idea of that? Well, you've got to have a camera to take pictures. I'll take the picture, Sonny. Uh, here, grab that. I've been needing a flunky to carry my stuff around for a long time. I get it. 
Maybe I should have kept the negative. The police look for some rioting at the docks, Wade. Hang around. You'd get my last drop of blood for dear old Globe Press, wouldn't you, sweetheart? Come on, Stu, let's get going. They ought to put a traffic cop at this intersection. Oh. You moving? Well, I don't know yet. Well, good luck anyhow. Thanks. I think I'll need it. Okay, Caliban, get going. Here we go. Bucks, what's the gag? Says that stuff you got of the balloon disaster was the greatest piece of newspaper photography you'd ever seen. <laughs> and they all laughed when I told them I was the best picture snatcher in the world. <laughs> By the way, I'll have to let Casey go. Why? My payroll's too heavy. Ah, you've been wanting an excuse to fire him ever since he put one over on you and got the job. Forget it. You're going to split that money with Casey, aren't you? No, why should I? Because it so happens that Casey took those balloon pictures. You're cracked. Oh, am I? I saw him. I was wearing Casey's coat when that gas bag blew up. So you're not fooling anybody. I know Casey when I see him. All right, so what about it? So I'm getting tired of seeing Casey take pictures and you take the bows. How'd you like a smack in a puss? From you, I wouldn't even feel it. That's good enough for me. Oh, I'll scramble you all over. Hey, hey cut it out, you lunatics. I want to fire you both. And wreck the paper? That's a cute idea. Go on outside and buy each other a drink and forget it. I'll buy him a drink. A nice cool Mickey Finn. Me, Hello. Hello, Flash. This is Kay. Kay! I guess this is the first time you ever called me up. Well, I have something very important to tell you. Will you meet me at the Paradise in half an hour? Lady, I'll meet you at the North Pole in ten minutes. Bring what? Okay. Hello. Hello. You haven't been waiting long, have you? Not very long. Flash, Corp Lawrence is in terrible trouble. Blaine's been pulling some more fast things on him, and on top of that, Peyton quit him the day cold. Peyton quit? What for? Oh, he's going into business for himself. He's got a camera store. We gotta do something to help Pop. I know, but. I can't do anything. You've got to do it tonight. What? Well, Sharon Lee, the movie stars, and Heidi at the Warren's estate. The Warren's are friends of mine. Sharon Lee in town here? Yes. And she's going to be married secretly tonight. Married tonight? How do you know? Oh, never mind that. The point is, it's one of the biggest stories of the year, not a newspaper knows about it. And you can't tell because the Warren's are friends of yours. Gee, that's tough. But I'm telling you so that you and I can help Pop Lawrence. What a story. A picture of that ceremony would be plastered on every newspaper. Yes, if they could get it, but they won't, because I want Pop Lawrence to have it exclusively for his front cover. You can count me in. Thanks, Flash. But remember, no one must know where you got the tip. Word of honor? Word of honor. Do you take this man for your lawfully wedded husband through sickness and unhealth, to love, cherish, and obey as long as ye both shall live? I do. And I now pronounce you man and wife. 
That's it. Oh, Hold it. Thanks, folks. It's a knockout. <laughs> well, it's yours. It's exclusive. Mine? I don't understand. What about Blaine? Blaine doesn't even know I took it. He won't until Snap News comes out with that on its front cover. But Blaine will fire you. He can't. I took it on my own time. Son, I, I can't find words to tell you how grateful oh, I am. Oh, don't mention it. <laughs> I'd like to compliment you on the front cover, Lawrence. Who made this picture? I'd rather not say, Major. Okay, that's your business. But don't get coffee. You're not out of the woods yet, you know, not by a mile. Oh, good morning, Miss Lanny. Good morning. Congratulations, Pop. It's the scoop of the ages. <laughs> Young lady, did you have anything to do with this? How could you ever think such a thing? How did you ever let him put a thing like that over on you? I didn't even know there was going to be a way. Come in. Casey, did you take that picture? Well, did you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why didn't you bring the picture to me? Well, I wanted to help Pop Lawrence. That's all I wanted to know. Casey, you're through. See the cashier. Get going. Okay, sir. If you need any references, Stoogie, look me up. I'll keep him off every newspaper from Maine to California. God, Blaine is the biggest heel in the newspaper business. And the best editor. Yeah, he would be. It's a wonder somebody hadn't tried to stick him with a knife. If they did, he'd only bleed printers, ain't he? Well, Pop, big news. Globe Press and Flash Casey are dissolved. What? Yeah, Mr. Blaine and I disagreed about certain policies of running the newspaper. Flash, you got fired because of that picture. Huh, you're a mind reader. I'm going right to Major Addison. Oh, you're not. You got fired yourself. We're going to put Snap News on its feet. We? You and I. From now on, I'm going to work for you. Okay, son, but I can't pay you much. Uh, the only pay I want is a chance to lick Blaine. Flash, it's all my fault, and I think it's terrible. Oh, it's swell. It's terrific. Dad, you're all wrong about Mitzi. She's a swell girl. With all her escapades and affairs in Europe, she must be. Oh, Dad, you're a big newspaper man falling for that press agent stuff. Why don't you go up? We won't discuss the matter. And she's not a matter. Oh. She's an event. <laughs> if you knew her, you'd like her. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about inviting her to your shindig tomorrow. Now, you stay away from that young lady. Ronnie, my boy, why don't you marry some not respectable girl? Settle down and go to work. If it's work you want, I think I'll go out and dig up the golf course. Well, carry on for dear old Globe Press. And after what happened, I hate to ask you to do me another favor. Oh, anything at all you want. Well, Major Addison's society bazaar will be held day after tomorrow. It's his pet charity, the hospital for crippled children. Yeah, I've read plenty about it. Oh, it's very exclusive. To get in, you've got to have blue blood or green bag. <laughs> Sounds plenty colorful. You see, being society editor and knowing everybody, I'm in charge of admitting the guests. Oh, nobody gets in without a nod from you, huh? Well, what do you want me to do, be uh, head bouncer? No, I'd like for you to be my escort, if you will. Oh, lady, for you I'd fight fires, floods, and wildcats. Walk no traffic cop? Oh, not if they're too tough. <laughs> Gee, Flash, I wish we could take pictures. Major Addison won't allow cameras. Why not? Oh, just a whim. He says he wants his guests to enjoy themselves without someone snapping ridiculous pictures of them. Well, why do you want pictures? Well, for a long time I've wanted to get our special page and call it the Candid Camera in Society. I could do a swell article. I'll say you could, and I could help you. Oh, well, perhaps some other time. Well, look. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, I'll see you at night, maybe, huh? All right. Hey, this is tops. Oh, it'll do. Peyton, could you, uh, could you rent me a camera for tomorrow? One I could sort of hide. What's the idea? Well, I, I want to go to Major Addison's Bazaar tomorrow, and I want to... Oh, sure, I get you. You want to snap some pictures of the big shots on the QT, huh? Well, yeah, but I only wanted to give him a K as a surprise for a Sunday feature she wanted to write. Well, wait a minute. Here's a baby for you. A new candid camera. 
You see? Slip right under your coat, like this. There you are. You can snap your stuff like this, and nobody gets wise. Boy, that's something. How much? Not a cent. Take it along and use it a couple of weeks and see how you like it. And uh, if you want to make sure that Kay gets your stuff instead of Blaine, take my tip. Bring it to me to be developed. Thanks, I sure will. And that's her with her husband. There she is with another man after I get through doing tricks with the pictures. Nice work. Something tells me the other guy will pay plenty to keep her husband from seeing this. Yeah, but she'll pay off herself to keep him from seeing it, don't forget. That's right, Flo. We get him coming and going. You're a smart girl, honey. If I ain't, I wasted four years going to school. Now that is the very snooty Mrs. Waldo Ranford, all harnessed up for the opera. There she is again, practically in her birthday clothes. Now, uh, if you were Mrs. Waldo Ranford, how much dough would you give to keep that out of circulation? If I was the Ranford dame, how much dough would I have? Ooh, about five million smackers. Then I'd give at least a hundred grand and never miss it. Looks like I got a new way of shaking down the suckers. I gotta have photographs to work with. Prominent people with heavy jack. Wait a minute. There's the answer to that. If a little camera could wander around that yard a few minutes, we'd be fixed for life. Don't be a girl scout. The Addison place is guarded like a clink. That's all right. I think I took care of that little situation about an hour ago. Thanks to your little camera shop. That's swell. Hello, Kay. How are you? Fine, thank you. Well, it looks like a large afternoon. Yes, many a million pass through this gate. Maybe I ought to pass a hat around. Don't be afraid of Dad. His bark is worse than his bite. Is it a puppy? Thank you. It's all right, Kay. That's Rodney, Major Addison's son. Yeah, I know. I've seen him before. Flash, you look uncomfortable standing here. Why don't you take a stroll around the ground? All right. Swap. I'll leave my hat there. Okay. Well, I'll take a look around. All right, Senator. So see you later. Yes, sir. How do you do? How are you? Dad, oh. meet the Countess Dubonnet. My father, Countess. My dear Countess, uh, I'm honored. So, this is the gentleman that back and bite, no? Uh, would you entertain the Countess, Dad? I have someone I'd like to see. Delighted. You pardon me? Of course. Uh, may I have the pleasure of showing you around, Countess? How kind of you. Have you been in this country long? Oh, say that all day. Oh, uh... Five dollars, please. Five dollars? Yes, sir, that's all. Five dollars. Oh, five dollars. says, get them while they're hot. Only $100 to kiss the world's most beautiful debutante. How about it, boys? Step right up. How about uh, three for 250? I'm sorry, but three snacks will cost you 500 snackers. Here you are. Thank you, Senator. Hello, Mr. Hello. That's all right, Senator. I'll kiss them myself for you. All right, boys, who'll be next? There's a gentleman. Right here. Have your choice. Oh, 
we, Countess? Do you know Miss LaRue, the dancer? Oh, Miss LaRue? Oh, I know her very well. She is a lovely and charming girl. And a great artiste. But those stories about her in the papers. Lies. All of them, a package of lies. But why do you ask? Well, as a matter of fact, my son was quite interested in her at one time. Oh, so? I do not blame him. No? No? Well, of course, if she were a nice girl like you, I could understand his going overboard for her. Oh, Miss Laru is very much like me. Me, oui, oui. <laughs> Now we go play hoopla, no? Yes, if you like. Let's go. I wish I had some of the money that's floating around here today. Why worry about money? You've got your height, health, good eyesight. Yeah, that's right, but... I've got a certain ambition. As to what? As to getting married, if you must know. Well, don't forget to let me know when it happens. I'll give you a big write-up in my society column. Well, you'll be the first to find out, I hope. Oh, some people are coming. Oh, darn this traffic. Let's get out of this fire trap. Well, how's that the Countess, Dad? Sonny, if you had any sense, you'd marry that girl. Well, maybe I will. That my fine feathered father is. I know. Mitch LaRue. <laughs> Hello. Got my stuff? No, I'm sorry, Casey. I had to leave the shop. Oh, gee, and I'm in a big rush for it. When'll it be done? Why, not till tomorrow. Did it turn out all right? Why, I don't know yet. I haven't developed it. Okay. So long. So long. What a set. Come on, let's get going. Wait a minute. Here. That's what you use on Addison. And this is Casey's original negatives and also the phonies. I'll do my stuff while you're in with Addison. Yes, yes, we had a wonderful time. A marvelous party. What? At least 300 people. What? Oh, excuse me, Charlie. I'll call you back. Major Addison? Yes, what can I do for you? I've got a little picture I'd like to send you. I'm not interested. That's what you think. How you could take a perfectly innocent picture of Mitch and Leroy, my son's fiancée and myself, made at my party, and turn it into a thing like this, I don't know. But I do know this is the lowest, vilest, most contemptible attempt at extortion I've ever heard of. When you get all through raving, mister, we'll talk business. Business? My only business will be with the district attorney. So my picture ain't worth 25 grand to you, huh? Get out of here. Get out! Okay, mister. I'll read about what happened to you in the Globe Press. But you won't. Hey, come in here. taking pictures of my party. Why not one? Are you sure? I'm positive. Except that... Except what now? Go on. Oh, well, Flash Casey was there. And who's Flash Casey? Well, he used to be Tom Wade's assistant. He's now Pop Lawrence's cameraman. Oh, that one. Well, how did he get here? Well, he came with me. Casey, your boyfriend? Well, uh, not exactly. Though I do like him a lot. Is Casey there? No, sir. I'm expecting him shortly. Oh. Well, come in here, Arns, will you, right away, and bring Blaine with you. Major Addison, won't you please tell me what's wrong? This. What is it? What does it mean? You'll find out. Well, it looks like we're going to have a little trouble with Addison. Yeah? Well, I could have told you that. Boys, the Major wants to take a little ride. You better escort him to the car. reason to think Flash Casey might be mixed up in an extortion racket? I don't know why. Casey took a picture of my party. A man was just in here trying to blackmail me with this. But Flash wouldn't do anything like that. When a fellow will blackmail himself into a job, he'll do anything. What do you mean? Casey brought in a phony pitting that LaRue girl. I had to hire him to get the negative. Well, why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to worry you. 
Then I fired him when he double-crossed me on the wedding picture that Lawrence used on his front cover. Major, I told Flash to take that picture, and I also told him about the wedding. We only wanted to help Mr. Lawrence. I didn't know that, Kay. You shouldn't have done it. Never mind that. Let's stick to the point. I'm convinced Casey is behind all this. I've suspected him from the first. That's absurd. Casey wouldn't get mixed up in a thing like that in a million years. Of course not. Flash isn't that type of boy. Excuse me, Major. I have an idea. So have I. Major, won't you please give Flash a chance to explain? He'll do his explaining to the police. Get me the district attorney. Major Addison, please don't do that. Look at this, Major. I found them in his desk. Hello, dear. I'm okay. How are you? I'm coming right down to your office. And you're going with me, young lady. That's all for you two right now. Well, Lawrence, I think this will finish Snap News. All right, Major, let's take a walk. Well, you're the young man I want to see. brother and make it funny. Lieutenant Logan, Flash Casey, Gold Press. Remember me? Yeah, Wade's Funky. Say, listen, a man's been shot and a girl kidnapped. They got away in a black sedan. Did you get the license numbers or anything? Yeah, I got pictures of the guy that did it. We gotta find him, Lieutenant. We got to. Hello, Flash. Flash. Hello, Flash. Where's Pop Lawrence? Him and his hat went out someplace. You know where? No, I ain't no information bureau. Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. Blaine's been howling his head off. He wants you. What does he want? Why don't you see him and find out? Oh. Just taking Addison into the operating room. Is he going to be okay? I think so. Well, I <laughs> thought they'd have you in jail by now. Mr. Blaine, Kay's been kidnapped. Are you crazy? Just about. What did you hang up for? I wasn't through talking to you. Gosh, Lieutenant, have you found it yet? Son, I'm a cop, not a magician. Where are those pictures you said you had? What is all this? Now, just what happened? Well, I got photos of those guys shooting Major Addison. Kay was standing near the car, and, and I, the next thing I knew, they pulled Kay into the car, and I, I called a cab and tried to follow him, and I, I, I lost them. You mean you actually got pictures of Addison being shot? Yeah, the whole business. Three or four good shots. Hold the extra. Call you right back. Where are your pictures? Gosh, I must have left them in the phone booth. Where? A drugstore, 8th and Main. I know. Central Drug Company, Angel Puss, and make it fast. Wade, you know all the bad boys in town. Any idea who did this? Any one of about a thousand guys. Central Drug Store. Just a minute, I'll look. Nope. No camera here. Sorry. Gone. They should have shot Casey instead of the Major. Lieutenant, isn't there something I could do to help? Could you identify him from pictures? Sure. Let's go. Hey, Doyle. Kay Lanning's been kidnapped. Story coming right up. Oh, 
your new girlfriend, Gus? Keep out of this, Flo. Oh, maybe she's your girlfriend. Never mind whose girlfriend she is. Take her upstairs. That's easy. And keep her there. Come on. Well, unless you've got us in. All right, all right. Well, what are you going to do with us? You saw the whole works. We'll stop her mouth. Someone named Flash Casey work here? Yes. Well, here's his camera. I found it in the telephone booth. Well, we appreciate your returning. Oh, that's all right. Me and the wife, we're traveling around the country in a trailer. We're making photos ourselves as we go along. That's okay. Yeah, you know, I... <laughs> Oh, uh, have you seen Flash? No, sir. Now, Billy, you take that to the dark room. Tell them if there are any exposures in there, develop them and send them right back to me. Well, uh, you're busy and I'm busy, too. i got to get home and cook the supper. <laughs> have a good time and well, thanks again for returning the camera. That's all right. <laughs> any luck, son? I don't know. I'm so worried I wouldn't know him if I saw him. Take it easy. I know how you feel. Well, if we only had my camera, we'd know who grabbed it. We'll get them. I'm going back. I, I've got to keep doing something. We'll phone you. If your camera shows up, don't lose a second getting those pictures here. No worry. Oh, you're sticking up a fuss, sister. Nothing will happen to you. Let me try this hat. To think that I got pictures of the guys that did it, and then I lose my camera. Your camera was returned. What? Where is it? I sent it to the dark room to have your stuff developed. What's that? Uh, that's for Mr. Lawrence. Lawrence, I'll take care of that. But I, I... Get out. Well, I... Jerry, kill the art stuff in the second extra. I'm sending down some real stuff. Send a boy up for it right away. I said Billy got my picture. Then we've got to find Billy. Mr. Blaine... Where's my stuff? stuff? Mr. Blaine took it away from me. He wouldn't give it back. He says he's going to run oh. the extra. Oh, no, he won't. Hey, what's all this running around for, anyway? I never seen any good pictures taken in this madhouse. Give me my stuff. Get out of here. I'm using this. Oh, you double-crossing fool. That's for Pop Lawrence. Yes? Hey, what goes on here? Holy jumping Jiminy. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a you ingrown idiot. I don't want your pictures. Well, then what do you want? Listen, kid, believe it or not, I'm your friend. I know who grabbed Kay and shot at us. The do? Oh, King Rick. Oh, that's his picture you got there. I know where he hangs out. We'll find her. Well, then let's get to the police. The police, me, I. You and I can handle this. We'll grab some pictures that'll be heard around the world. Well, let's do it. You got what it takes? Sure. Shake, pal. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Down. Hey, look. I told you we could handle this. Come on. Engine's hot. What a break. They're probably in the back room playing honeymoon bridge. Listen, doctor, you drive. I'll jump in the back and dress for the fire. Okay. Can you beat it? Some guys that steal a red hot stove. We'll get them. Hey, car! Corner. Okay, doctor. You know, I don't get 
had to go out very often. Sometimes on Saturday night we'd go to the Palomar. Get out of here, kid. Yeah. I pushed you around plenty when you were with me, but I did it to make a real cameraman out of you. Well, did you? I'll tell the world I did. Now watch your step and let's go. Ray! Ray! The ambulance stopped out in front. They're coming in here. Just what the doctor ordered for a getaway. Let him in. Come here, Danny. Did you call for an ambulance, lady? Sure, why not? You're just in time, boys. Feed it, Flo. Watch it, boss. They're ponies. Ponies, huh? I thought so. Wait, it looks like you and I are going on a long trip. Yeah, a long trip. Fine, I like trips. What are you two halfwits talking about? Drop that and put up your hand. Stay there and help him fight, you yellow egg. Not me. I'm getting out of here, sister. Car 16. Car 16. Stole an ambulance traveling at high speed. Went through signals at Somerset Drive and Avalon Street. That is all. An excellent idea, Doc. An excellent idea. Oh, a large one, isn't it, Oh, the surprise for you upstairs. Okay. Look after him, boys. Take it easy on the way out, fellas. He's full of bumps. Hold it. This one's on you, Casey. Exclusive for Snap News. <laughs> 